Buddy. Come on, buddy. How's it going, everybody? This one, I'm going to improve my outdoor kitchen, boil some maple syrup, try out my new knife, play with Charlie, and do a little cleanup around the property and make some awesome wood-fired pizza. Finally a success on this pizza oven. I've got it figured out now. So stick around, and I will share an awesome day at the cabin with you. I got a little bit of a late start with tapping trees, but I still got enough to make a little bit of syrup. This block seems to do all right to short bursts of heat, cooking for maybe an hour, but boiling maple syrup, I need to add fire brick. The outside of my live edge slab decided to crack, so I think I'll fix that in a while. Luckily, I brought some tools and some screws. I'm gonna drill in and just screw it back together. For now, I keep trying to get some fire brick down. Laying this stuff in is kind of like doing a puzzle with pieces that don't work. I tried to break it with my brick chisel, but it doesn't break well. I think you'd almost have to cut it with some kind of saw. I just simplified it and them sideways so they won't tip. Stack some stuff in here underneath. Something to... So I'm going to use this folding camp grill that my pots on for my sap. Pots I have are nothing special. They're actually like, I think an old roasting pan. So it takes quite a while for me to cook the sap to boil it down. But I got other things I can do while it's boiling. One thing I really need to do is get these leaves cleaned up, keep the fire hazard down a little bit. It is spring, they're still a little wet, but they're gonna be drying out pretty quick, so. Okay. We've got a boil. I would say it took about 10 minutes maybe to start boiling. That's not bad. This one here on the left is boiling pretty good. And this one's a little behind. Well, I've worked up a good appetite. I think I'm going to start a fire on the other side and get the pizza going. 
pretty easy with all these hot coals. The last time I cooked anything in the pizza oven, it didn't go well. It got really greasy and really smoky because the fire didn't burn well. This time, I think I've got it figured out. I opened up the heat shield on the bottom a lot, and I'm going to leave the door cracked so that it can breathe better. I need hot water for my pizza crust. I'm going to cool this one down a little bit more. Get some hot water out of that. Quarter cup of hot water. That should do it. Fire's going. Get my stone heating up. One of them. It's climbing a little slower than I'd hoped, but it's definitely cooking better than the last time. Temperature is much closer to what I want. looking good I can see it if I peek in through this crack temperature is at 550 and I can see it's cooking a lot a lot faster than it did before and what I did I'll show you in a minute here once it's done I took on the back of my heat shield that sits on the bottom I cut a big notch out so the flames can curl up the back and not be stopped so much by the heat shield check this out it's real wood fired pizza look at how quick that's cooking I think I got it figured out I might overdo it, I'll probably burn it, but we'll see what happens. Look at that temperature, really close to 600 degrees. Oh yeah. Beautiful wood-fired pizza, maple syrup boiling on the other side. This is gonna be a great night. I'm gonna be out here for a long time cooking that syrup, but now it's time to try this pizza out, see how it turned out. See how it tastes. That's so much better than my last attempt. See the crust is nice and golden, fluffy. It's not greasy, it's not smoky. It turned out really good. Really happy with it. This is the life. So glad it's spring. Charlie, you want some pizza? Shake? Good boy. Well, I took a walk around the property and I took way too long coming back. This side luckily had enough in it, it didn't burn. This side is looking pretty gross. I poured some in it, but I think I poured it in too late. I'm guessing this is junk, but never know. It might still taste all right. I'll find out. Seems like this is the way this goes every year. I start too late in the day and I end up boiling this stuff in the dark. This burnt stuff I tasted, it still tastes pretty decent, honestly. I, I might still use it. It's kind of weird though, it, once it burns, the boil is, is heavier and finer and it's harder to keep it under control. I don't know, hopefully it turns out all right. Well, I cooked that syrup pretty late into the night and this is what I got, one pint. The other batch tasted like burnt marshmallows, wasn't very good. But the pizza was fantastic. So it was a win in my book. Hope everybody enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. <laughs>